me to me. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 41 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add the Shadows of Evil teleporters. Alright, so let me open up my little bag of goodies right over here. And where is it? Shadows of Evil. Here we go, teleporters. Alright, so this is a real simple script to implement. It's only going to be uh, two functions we're going to add. And then we're going to add this right into the main function. So uh, let's open up the map that we're going to be implementing this into. You know, if anything, I'm going to have a link in the video description where you can download this text document and it's going to have all the info you're going to need. All right, so let me go over to shadows. This is the map I'm going to be using to implement this. So I'm going to go into show zone folder. There we go. Now I'm in my zone folder. Now I'm going to go over to my map name right over here on the top. And I'm going to go to scripts. I'm going to go to ZM. And I'm going to go into my map name, GSC file. Click on that. Here we go. Move this over to the side. Now we're going to copy this code. And we're going to put this at the bottom of the GSC file. Hit paste. There we go. That's good. Now we're going to add this part where it says put in main. We're going to put this part in the main. Actually, let me add that semicolon to the end. So copy that. Scroll up. And this is your main function main. Now right under ZM underscore user map, you want to make some space and paste that in there, right there. Hit file. Hit save. Now that's it. It's implemented. Now all we have to do is add the teleporters in Radiant. So let's open up our map. I'm going to open map in Radiant. Now there's two ways of doing this. Either you can use a trigger radius or you could also use a trigger multiple. So we're going to be trying both. That way you guys could get a good sense of how it's done. There we go. All right. I got my map loaded up. Let me build the lighting real quick. That we won't have to forget later. Okay, that's done. Now, first things first, hit B on the keyboard to bring up your entity browser. There we go. Now we're going to go over to trigger. Here it is right here. Hit click on that. Now what the two we're going to need is trigger multiple and trigger radius. So let's try the trigger radius first. We're going to do two different types. So I'm going to drop that onto the map. There it is right over here. Now this trigger radius, it means that once you go into this circle, you're going to be teleported. So let me bump that all the way back here. Right there. All right, that's cool. Now let me uh let me put something down so I can know when I'm in the circle. There we go. Let me go over to let me go from a top view. And let me go to patch. Now you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this just to know where it's at. And I'm going to cylinder. There we go. All right, cool. So now I know where the radius is. Let me thicken this up. Control Shift T in case you don't know what the thicken tool is. Hit OK. There we go. It thickened it up. Now let me give that a texture. Let me go to my favorites. There we go. All right, so now I know where the trigger radius is. Now, let's go back over to the text document. And I'm going to go over here where it says create a trigger radius or trigger multiple and give it the KVP of teleport player without the quotes. Copy that. Open radiant up again. Select the radius. Hit N on the keyboard. Now we're going to go over to target name and we're going to paste it in there and press enter. There we go. Now that part is done. Now let's put a script origin over here on this side so it'll teleport us over to this section. So hit, bit, hit B on the keyboard and now we're going to go over to script and we're going to take a script origin. 
and I'll pop that in right there. Move it up. Hit N on the keyboard. Now where it says client server, right now it says client side. We have to change this to server side. So I'll click on it. It's going to have a little drop down menu and pick server side and then hit escape. All right, so select the radius and then select the origin. You have to do the radius first and then press W. And as you can see, it has a purple line going from the radius to the origin. So that's letting you know where you're going to be teleported to. And as you can see, it has the little arrows pointing to it. All right, so that part is done. Now we could also copy this as many times as you want. So let me select this. Actually, we're going to do it to the trigger multiple. Now let's make a different type using a trigger multiple. So hit B on the keyboard and go over to trigger. Now you're going to see trigger multiple. So we'll put the multiple right there. There it is. It's a basic trigger. Let me bump this up a little bit. There we go. Now let me put a door frame here so I'll know where it is. So you put door frame under models and I'll select it's actually one from Black Ops 2. I'll take this one. There we go. That way when I walk through the door, it'll teleport me. Here we go. Make sure that's, oops, that's not even touching the floor. All right, perfect. All right, so now that we have the trigger multiple, select the trigger multiple, press N on the keyboard. We're going to give it the same KVP we gave the trigger radius. There we go. Press enter. Now let's put a script origin over on this side. So hit B on the keyboard, go back over to script, go to origin, drop it right there. Hit N on the keyboard. Remember, client server, we have to put it on server side. Hit escape. Now select the trigger and then select the origin. Press W and that's it. Now you can also copy it. So select both of it. There we go. And go from the top view. Hit the space bar and hold shift, press D. Let me just rotate that. Now it's going to both spots. Let me just move it over a little bit. There we go. And as you can see, we have three teleporters now. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now let's uh, give it a try and see how it goes. So hit file, hit save, and let's compile the map. Now remember, this text document, I'm going to have it in the description. I'm going to have the information on its own in the description, just in case the link goes down. But I'm also going to have a link where you can just download this also, in case you want to keep it. So shadows, let me compile all of this and let's get on into it. All right, let's give that a second while it finishes. If anything, let me show, uh, I'm also working on a custom template or at least a custom mod level where it's going to have about 25 to 30, to 30 different scripts. So I have a little checklist. Where is it? It's actually in here. And it's going to have these scripts built into the mod level. So it's going to have jump pads. It's going to have three bear Easter egg song, Kino teleporters, key card, traps, change, starting weapon, added widow's wine, 
intro text, shootable door Easter egg, um, another Easter egg for a perkaholic where you shoot like uh, 10 different items and it'll give you a perkaholic, which is all the perks, buildable power switch, buyable power ups, teleport zombie. So let's say if you have a map and you use one of the jump pads, but the zombies are taking long to get to you, you can actually teleport the zombies the same way you're teleporting yourself in the Shadows of Evil teleporter. And a Bible ending, and also a, a custom build table for you to build a gun or anything else. Now, this is just a few of the scripts I'm adding. I'm also adding about maybe 12 or 13 more. So it has to go through a lot of testing for me to release it to you guys. I'm just trying to make sure that it's perfect. I'm also going to have built-in zones and also uh, prefabs where you just drop in. Like, let's say if you need zombies, I already got a prefab for that and everything else. Plus, it's going to have working lights and songs for the perk machines. You know, it's I'm going to go all out with that one. So just give me like another week and I should be done with that. You know, but it's coming out pretty nice. All right, so let's see. And here it is. Now I have one error. That's because I was messing around with the sound file. But it looks like it's done. All right. So let me get out of these. Build. Okay, guys. Now that we got it loaded up, let's check it out in action. All right. Here we go. All right, now this is the trigger radius. Once I go into the circle, I should be teleported over there. There we go. Now I also put up another one. So as soon as I walk through the door, there we go. Now this is the trigger multiple over here. Let's go, baby, let's go. Do it and slide. And there you have it. As you can see, the teleporters work perfectly. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.